Did you know that the Easter Bunny and Easter eggs are not biblical? They are pagan and diabolical objects to distract Christians and their families from the real meaning of Easter. Stay and watch the video to find out the dark side of the Easter Bunny. Easter is the most important feast for both the Christian and the Jewish religion. In fact, the Christian and the Jewish Easter are one celebration. And in reality, it's not called Easter, it's called Passover. But Christianity changed the name to Easter. Jewish, they're the ones who celebrate Passover, and Christians celebrate Easter. But in reality, it's the same feast. I will explain it to you shortly. As we already know, Christ was Jewish. So Christianity comes from the Jewish religion, basically, right? Jewish people and Christians, we both believe in the same God. The only difference is that Jewish don't believe that Jesus Christ is their Messiah, that is our Savior, that is the Son of God. And Christians believe that Christ is the Son of God and our Savior, correct? Passover, which is the real name for Easter, started thousands of years ago when the Israelites, who are the people of God, were enslaved in Egypt for 430 years. Then God freed them from slavery and this is when God opened the Red Sea for them to pass through. Remember this story? Okay, so after this event, God told the Israelites that they had to celebrate a feast to remember this event. This feast they called it Passover, where they had to celebrate this feast for seven days and eat bread without yeast. And in this feast, they had to sacrifice a lamb for each family for the forgiveness of their sins. This sounds familiar, right? Like about 2,000 years later, Jesus came to the world as our savior and he was crucified during the Passover feast and he became the lamb of God who takes our sins away. So he became the true lamb of God. So after this, there was no need for more sacrifices because Jesus was the one who was able to pay for all of our sins. And then after this, Christianity came from Christ and obviously Jewish didn't want Christ as their savior. So basically that's how the, the Christian religion was formed, right? But in reality, the Christian religion comes from the Jewish religion, right? And they celebrate the same feast because Jewish people still celebrate Passover, when which the meaning is that God took them away from slavery in Egypt, which was physical slavery. And then in Christianity is more spiritual. When Christ took us away during Passover from us being spiritual enslaved to sin. So we were slaves of sin, correct? but through Christ, we are saved. That's why Christians and Jewish people, they celebrate Passover the same week because it was when Christ was crucified, correct? Well, I explain more details about the connections between Passover and Easter in this video. I recommend for you guys to go watch it. So, well, let's learn why did Christians change the name from Passover, which is the real name, to Easter and how this connects to the Easter bunny and the Easter eggs. Like I said, Christ is our Passover, our sacrifice, the Lamb of God who takes our sins away. This is the real meaning of Passover, of Easter. And this is the reason we celebrate it. But just like Christmas, the enemy has been in charge of paganizing the Passover feast to distract us. To distract us from the true meaning of Passover, which is the crucifixion, the resurrection of Christ, and the liberation from the slavery of sin. The enemy has influenced us to worship demons during Passover, such as the case as the Easter rabbit and the Easter eggs, which are not biblical and have nothing to do with Christ 
and his resurrection. Like I said, the Easter feast, the real name of the feast is Passover, not Easter. The word Easter comes from a pagan god. The name Easter, the Easter rabbit, and the Easter eggs are part of a pagan celebration, celebrating the beginning of spring, fertility, and new life. It sounds familiar, correct? Well, in this feast, they worship a goddess called Easter. That's a lot of coincidence, correct? There's a goddess called Easter. Pagan people worship this goddess who provided fertility to people. From there comes the name change of Easter, which in reality is called Passover. The Easter rabbit represents the goddess Easter. Since a rabbit has great reproductive potential, let's remember that the Easter goddess was the goddess of fertility. The Easter rabbit is like Santa Claus at the Saturnalia party. And if you guys don't know what Saturnalia is, Saturnalia, uh, which is spelled like this, I recommend you guys to go find out because that's basically when Romans celebrate their pagan gods in December 25th, which is Christmas, when in reality Christ wasn't born in December. He was born in September. So like I said, the Easter Bunny is like Santa Claus in this Saturnalia feast because he brings baskets full of colorful eggs to the children so that it looks like a friendly and innocent party. But in reality, Easter is a pagan god, a demon who dresses himself in light when in reality he is a being of darkness. Unfortunately, this pagan tradition has been implemented in Christianity. And there's even a meaning to connect the pagan god Easter to Christ. This is mind-blowing how people can go so far into trying to connect these demons to a Christian celebration, trying to find a meaning just for us to keep worshiping these demons. It is said that the reason why a rabbit and eggs are worshiped during Easter is because when Christ was buried, inside the tomb was a rabbit that witnessed the resurrection of Christ. And it says that after this, the rabbit went out to communicate it to people, leaving colored eggs at their doorstep to give them the message of new life and happiness. Since according to this, an egg represents new life and the colors represents happiness. This is a complete lie. This is a vile lie. Um, first of all, obviously, the resurrection of Christ represents new life and happiness, but there was not a rabbit inside the tomb. If you are familiarized with the scriptures, if you have read the scriptures, you know that a rabbit wasn't the one who communicated to people that Christ resurrected, correct? Remember that the one who saw Christ resurrected was an angel. Then this angel later communicated this to the women who were going to visit Christ in the tomb. And then these women went out to the people and gave the good news about Christ's resurrection to his followers. They spread the good news about resurrection. These women, not a rabbit. It is very important to realize what we celebrate. We need to do more research on what we're celebrating and not just get carried away by the masses because through our ignorance, we drag our children to worshiping demons. Spiritual fornication is worshiping pagan gods, thus being spiritual unfaithful to God. So let's get away from paganism and spiritual fornication. Well, this is all for this video, guys. I hope you guys learned a lot in this video and realized the true meaning of the Easter bunny, the dark side behind it and of the Easter eggs. And if I forgot to say something, please comment down below so we can learn more about this. And well, that's all for this video. I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the content of this channel by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know every time I upload a video. Also, don't forget to share with other people so that more people can learn about the word of God and the dark side of Easter so that we can stop worshiping these demons. For now, that's all for this video. I hope you like it. God bless you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!